us. After Governor Kevin Stitt announced a contract that could lead to the largest economic development in state history, we learned that contract is with Panasonic. The company says it's looking at ways to advance the electric vehicle industry across the country. I went to Pryor to talk with business owners and city leaders today, and I also talked with a lawmaker who told me the money to lure the company could be used in other ways. I think Pryor has a great potential to grow and develop. Inside Robin's Nest Flowers in Pryor, new owner Lainey Ogg is hard at work. I okay. just literally signed the paperwork to um, purchase the place today. From flowers to gifts, they have a little something for everyone. And with the potential for a new electric vehicle battery plant nearby, Lainey says they could soon be seeing even more customers. I do believe that it will bring in a wider customer base. It will help us with taxes. It will help our community grow. Prior mayor Larry Lees agrees. We'll enhance sales tax revenues uh, to begin with. That cash register, you know, will cha-ching, you know, more often. Panasonic told me the agreement with the state, quote, defines the eligibility in terms of the incentives under Oklahoma's LEAD Act. That's a rebate program lawmakers passed in March. It's an awesome big deal for Oklahoma. But the new agreement with Panasonic is contingent on the state legislature passing around $245 million in funds to develop the area around the Mid-America Industrial Park. What that tells me is that Panasonic is still asking the state of Oklahoma to invest in themselves before they decide to invest their company here in our state. House Democratic leader Cindy Munson says that money could be used in other ways to build up Oklahoma and make the state more desirable for companies. We could be using those dollars to invest in our schools that ultimately uh, invest in Oklahoma's workforce now and in the future. Representative Munson says she does want to attract people and businesses to Oklahoma, but not at the cost of investing in our current population. The governor says the plant would be a $5 billion investment for the company, and they could use rainy day reserves to pay for it. And when I think about a use of these funds to make a project like this happens that's generational for Oklahoma, uh, it's it's the right thing to do. It would be amazing for our state. For business owners and city leaders in Pryor, they say it could help bring more housing and new businesses to town. I think that it's going to be a good um, opportunity for us to grow and expand our ways that we work here and the ideas that we come at, up with and use our own creativity to go forward. Panasonic and the Oklahoma Department of Commerce both told me they're continuing discussions and they'll share more information as it's available. We'll also let you know when and if lawmakers vote on that additional funding.